Hello guys, I'm back and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and do the descent and approach into Hong Kong Kai Techno. So we're at 13,000 feet and we're descending down to 8,000 feet. As you see here it is, we circle around and then right here at the last moment we take a swinging right right into the runway. As far as for the weather goes right now, it is uh, raining at the moment down in Hong Kong, but that's alright. You see we're starting to get some little pop-ups on our uh, weather, weather radar here, so we need to go ahead and um, go down to FMC here. Oh, my bad down to the FMC, go to index, and we can select our approach VREF, we're going to be landing flaps 30, and our ref is going to be 146 as our speed, like so, uh, I'm going to go guys on the charts real quick, so uh, if we go back here, we're about to start holding in a minute, so I, I have time, I'm just going to drag this over here, and you're going to here, audio loss, that's okay. I'm going to go down here until we find the IGS. Here it is. So we're going to fly here to the Chung Chow VOR, we're going to hold. And then at 8,000 feet, then from here, we're going to go down to 6,000 feet. For above 180 knots, which we will be, we'll make a, a larger bank around the NDB here. Down to 4,500 here. Um, 8,000 feet, a point golf, and what we're going to be at 6,000 feet, and from, and from here, or on the turn, we go down to 4,000 feet, 4,500 feet. It's actually not that bad of a descent, because as we're turning, we're going to be descending as well. Then we intercept the uh, localizer here. Uh, DME is 111.9, so if I drag this back over here, we need to go and put that in to the chart here. It's already here, and the course is 0 0.88 all good so we can uh, go down as you see it's other ones uploading at the moment so uh, our minimums if we look our minimums here eh, let me see if I can find them but uh, I don't see our minimums no 660 feet we're going to put that in. We're going to put terrain overdrive here. And uh, our minimums here. <coughs> we can just drag it out. to 660 as so and we're gonna put this on uh, Barrow we're gonna have terrain inhibit because I had there's a weird glitch with my scenery but that's alright and uh, we should be good to go we're at 10,000 feet going down to 8,000 feet and as a matter of fact we can go ahead and skip the holding pattern there is no traffic we go down here we go to hold we can uh, go ahead actually we can go ahead and just copy paste over this like so. That'll get rid of the hold. And we should be good. All good. Now we're descending down to 8,000 feet. I'm going to go ahead and put the weather radar on down a ways just to see what the weather's looking like. Yep, there's showers right now. It's a uh, light rain. Clouds are broken. You get some little weird flashy textures here. Yeah, definitely our frame rates are tanking now. Let's see if we can get a view of the city. Yeah, there it is. Hong Kong and then the airport's right over here socked in fog there's all of the buildings of Hong Kong and we're 500 above 800 feet here there are 8,000 feet my bad we're gonna go ahead and uh, put an altitude hold on here
and we're gonna lower the speed down to 226 we'll keep L knob on for the moment we'll arm the VOR left and right just to get a better perception here for redundancy we can put landing, put landing lights down <coughs> excuse me Our, uh, we're good. We can go ahead and descend down to 6,000 feet. And we'll go under 100. We'll go down to 180 knots. And we can arm the speed brake to keep us slow. We can go ahead and arm the seat belts. They're armed. Good to go. I did that before I recorded the video. Make sure those are on. Right now our Q&H is 1008. Uh, an update. We're we'll gonna put that up to 1009. I need to arm the uh, windshield wipers in a moment. But as far as the auto brake goes, we can set auto brake to 3. Let me get my uh, flight controls here situated. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're a little bit below, or a little bit above our uh, descent profile here, but we should be good to go. We're catching up to it. About to begin that large bank turn here. We can turn stations on here to see, make sure that the NDB is in the direction here. We're in the correct area. It's not popping up. That's all right. Uh, all right, we can go down to 4,500. Oh, we can disarm the speed brake. We can put down flaps 5. And we can actually arm the speed brake. We're losing visibility. Visibility here right now is uh, one mile, so it's pretty low. We could arm the localizer here. We'll let that take control in a minute. We are to see out. Let's see if we can see any of the buildings. Not so much. We can go flaps 15. And we're just on the localizer here. We can arm the approaches. The vertical descent needles just about there. You see our shadow in the clouds. We pull up the chart here. All right, 
now we're descending. We can lower our speed now. And put the gear down. Cabin is ready for, for landing. Speed brake is armed. Auto brake is set. Pass signs are on. We're good to go. And the speed is dropping good. We lost visibility. This is going to be one hell of an approach. Go flaps twenty. We get that speed down as fast as we can here. It's a little bit high. We're on the test of our weather radar here. We can say, well, this we're giving. A, s a slight crosswind here, but nothing too major. And we can go flaps 25. And of course, flaps 30. Visibility is deteriora deteriorating very fast. But I think we're going to have enough visibility to land, I believe. We just have to wait for uh, the minimums. I'm going to see if we can find the lights. Whoa, okay, there goes the visibility. Still getting that quite slight crosswind here, but uh, it's not going to bother us too much. We have to be uh, wary that actually we will be landing directly into a headwind if uh, the wind keeps persisting as it is. But we see the lights and we're visible with the checkerboard, which is uh, right over here. We can kind of see it. And we are actually visible with the runway, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think I have the guts to go ahead and uh, disable the autopilot here. So I'm gonna do so. Oh yeah, I'm in control. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so. All right, we're hit 1,000 feet. Flying right for that little line about here. You can see the checkerboard right up here. Plus 100. Plus 100. All right. Minimums. Minimums. We are landing. We can start the bank. All right. Around we go. We're a little bit below here. Glide slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Whoa. Let's get this baby down. Come on. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. All right, we are down. 
Maximum reversed. Reverse. Not the best landing, but we did definitely get it on the ground in one piece here. That turbulence was definitely messing with us a little bit. We can turn off here. I accidentally disabled the easy dock. That's okay. We can uh, go ahead and arm the runway turn off and we can disable the landing lights and turn on taxi. We can disable the speed brake. And we can disable auto throttle. Turn off the flight directors here. And here we go. Now we can taxi. And put flaps all the way back up. And there's the rain. And there we have it. So now we can just go ahead and taxi off. Taxi around like this. You see, look how close we are to the water. Factors of break water were so down and low. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then go ahead and leave a like. Not my best landing, but uh, we definitely got the ground, got down to the ground in one piece. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So, see you guys later.